K-Surf would like to ask a favor of you. We're very proud to have so many wonderful listeners who write and call us with their comments. We're planning to conduct a survey to help us serve you even better. At 103.1, we're K-Surf, 103 KSRF, Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, your West Side Station. I still don't believe that actually living and working here, it's a great place, isn't it? What a blessing. Yeah, it's 802. I'm Steve Day. And I'm Rachel Donahue. Surf's up. Are you? Hey, L.A.'s Mary Clance and Eric Phillips of Culver City are the first winners of a weekend getaway to a princess resort in Palm Springs or San Diego. And we'll be giving away five more weekend getaways all this week. So listen up to everyone's show. They're going to have one. You. Yeah, they're going to have one to give away. So get that West Side feeling here on KSurf 103.1. Yes, that eye in the sky is watching. This is the, the 80s here. Time is 8-11 at K-Surf 103.1. Steve Day and Rachel Donahue here. You know, you can show your good taste by, yes. by telling your friends about K-Surf. Yes, you certainly can show your good taste. And I think this is a very tasteful station, as you know. The minute I saw her, I knew I would care. I said, sweetheart, I'll take you anywhere. I'll take you to any spot in the world, to Rome, to England, in the court of an earl. In L.A., there's an amazing motion picture theater that combines state-of-the-art film technology with a five-story projection screen. The result? The Mitsubishi IMAX Theater. On Saturday, June 25th, Santa Monica's Big Blue Bus Excursions head for the IMAX presentation of The Grand Canyon. It's the fourth annual official Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach Party Night, Tuesday, April 11th at Baja Cantina in Marina Del Rey. Join k and Steve Day for the best party in the West Side. P-H-Y-S-I-C-O, that's the way you spell Physico. Yes, it's very clever, but tell me, what is it? Well, Physico... No, 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 let me guess. How big is it? Very big. How big is very big? 10,000 square feet big. That's big, all right. It's physical and it's big. Well, it's obvious then. It's a gym, eh? Yes, precisely. Well, it's been fun, but I really must tell you, I'm not interested in a gym. Just getting to them wastes so much time. Which is why Physico is a fitness superstore. I was a member of one for a while. 10,000 square feet of fitness equipment. Got my heart beating from aggravation and Traffic. Also, bicycles, aerobic apparel, and shoes. Walked up a sweat, worrying what the women thought. Mm-hmm. Which is why you should work things out at home. Yes, work things out at home, did you say? Volkswagen Santa Monica is proud to be the number one dealer in the country today. Thanks to you, Los Angeles. Volkswagen Santa Monica, home of the best-selling German-engineered cars in the U.S. and the number one Volkswagen dealer in America. The new KSRF. Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, 103.1 FM, 103.1. Your West Side Station. 25 West Side continues, sponsored by Tower Records. I'm John Lindstrom. We're reviewing the top 25 adult contemporary songs in America, according to Radio and Records magazine. Up five positions, Madonna's latest, Like a Prayer. Number seven. Let's bring him in right now. Here's Steve Day. Hey, thank you, John. We're the second Crystal Light National Aerobics Championship Century City Shopping Center. Thank you, Reebok Shoes. Thank you, Soft Touch Leotard. Thank you, Sugar Free Crystal Light. And right now, we're the female competition representing the Western Regional and the National Championships coming up very soon. And I just saw Linda Weiler perform. Don't give up, Max. Here, I'll make you a sandwich. What? Food? A sandwich? From what? Sam. Oh. Yeah, makes sense. What a headache. Go to this place for brakes and that place for the motor, and I always feel that I'm being taken advantage of. And why? Because I don't know anything about cars. Who can you trust? Relax. Stop worrying. Take your car to Appointment Automotive. I have for years. They genuinely care about their customers. You'll find quality repair work in an honest, friendly atmosphere. It's time to go down to the South Bay Gallery Live, and let's bring on our famous morning man here at K-Surf. It's Greg O'Neill. Greg, how are you doing today? Well, I'm doing fine, John. We're down here in Redondo Beach at the South Bay Galleria. And I don't know, I think they just stopped playing. They actually had a man with a violin and a classical piano, and I just feel so dignified, so cultured, so non-me. If you've ever uh, driven through Santa Monica or anywhere else on the west side, you're probably familiar with Santa Monica Bank. You know, they're the people behind those clever slogans you see on the back of buses. But the people of Santa Monica Bank represent more than just a few catchy lines you read at a stoplight. For starters, they've been on the west side for 60 years. 
and nearly all of their deposits have been put right back into the community. Just a good feeling. This tropical atmosphere is so much fun. It really brings my stress level down. Yeah. You know, Michael and I love those crazy flaming tropical drinks. Uh -huh. I think they do something to help my mood, too. <laughs> really? And I bet if that giant tiki doll behind the bar could talk, he'd have some wild stories from the past 40 years at Kelbo's. Wow, look at this appetizer oh, platter. Warm up your fingers, girl. There's some bite-sized ribs, shrimp strips, egg rolls. Oh, I know. Try these chicken wingdings with plum sauce. KSRF 103.1, Julia Fordham, Happy Ever After. Yes, kind of a matrimonial type of song there. Yours truly, Tally Hobbs. Thanks for joining us tonight. Impossible Dream Salon. Yeah. You going to a big party tomorrow? Nails and haircut? Well, we can fit you in for nails next Tuesday, but the haircut, uh, that'll be two weeks from Thursday. Well, change the date of the party. Norma's Sheer Salon. A party tomorrow? Well, I can book you today at 3 or tomorrow morning, if that's better. You can come in and meet your stylist, if you like. If yeah. your car is four years old, you should replace the belts no matter how they look. When you do, use genuine Gates products. Steve's Auto Supply has the largest inventory of Gates belts and hoses on the west side. With such a large inventory, they can pass the terrific savings on to you. We've got Susan Freeman on the line with us. She's over there at Precision Volkswagen in Beverly Hills. And Susan, what is the latest? John, we are now in our 50th hour of the Hang Fly Marathon. We are now down to eight contestants left hanging on the brand new Volkswagen Fox. Here he is, Rick Taylor and Rick, I gotta tell you, we have got to clap for those people, both of us down there at the Hang 5 Marathon. I think we gotta well, clap I tell for you, them. That, that <laughs> is incredible, John. As a matter of fact, I think they should all clap for themselves right now. You bet. There they go. Oh, That's right. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Both hands off the car. I saw that. I saw it. <laughs> hey, John, how you doing? Got a lot of great K-Surf late afternoon music up here. Canyon Beachwear in Santa Monica has the reputation of having the greatest selection of swimwear around. And I can honestly say that their reputation holds true. I'd never seen bathing suits quite so fabulous, from understated and simple to totally unique. I told you you should have called Powell Electric. I know. My mother said they're the best. Your mother. They could have fixed that outlet hours ago. <laughs> this is at 10 o'clock at the sound of the surf. 103.1 K-Surf KSRF. Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, and the best of Los Angeles. Good morning, L.A. Speaking of first in quality, let's go live now to K-Surf's very own Buddy McGregor. Well, thank you, John. Hello, everybody. I'm at iMartin Imports, where, as you know, for the last three, four weeks at K-Surf, we've been talking about the his and hers ultimate gift bicycle giveaway, and we promised we'd give it away in time to put them under the Christmas tree. Marvelous Christmas present for Johnny Kreitman. A lovely lady named Trish McGuire, and Trish has got some information for us. Trish? Hi, John. We're two hours into the Tall Ships competition. I'm aboard the Tall Ship Resolution with our winner, Corrine Tisch. It's just beautiful out here. There are quite a few spectator boats following us and getting a closer look at this magnificent old ship. The new KSRF and you are my angel baby. That's Toby Bo. Where is Toby Bo today? Now, here's another question. See, John Lindstrom, who's here so much, knows so much, but even he doesn't know what happened to Toby Bo. <laughs> he probably uh, changed his name to Ajman Kusozi and is uh, running a 7-Eleven someplace. Who knows? It's six minutes after 6, 6.06 with O'Neill and the breakfast quiz coming up. I just want to remind you that later on this hour, I will be giving you a chance to call in and win tickets to go to the Independence Eve Dance Till Dawn's early light party happening at the Fifth Avenue nightclub in Santa Monica, so stay tuned for that. John? Diana, things are really happening now out here at Santa Monica College Corsair Field. A band is up there playing. The field is practically almost filled right now, and they're waiting for all kinds of stuff going on. Glenn Campbell's going to start playing at 8 o'clock tonight out here, and a fireworks show at 9.45. Good morning. Maggie McKay here with you, live from Rancho Park in West Los Angeles at the Purina High Pro Dog Run. It's a canine <laughs> fun dog walk and run. Will you marry me? Oh, yes. I can only dream of our life together. Mm, cannoli. Oh. Do you suppose San Gennaro caters? Mr. Manilow, that's Barry's latest. Keep each other warm. And before that, we heard music from Survivor and Across the Miles. Started things off with Player and Baby Come Back. It is 6.36 right now. I'm George Moore. Well, good evening. I'm Sheila Gale. And for Tally Hobbs on a Friday night, here's Michael Jackson. Rock with you on KSRF. I'm home. Hello, dear. How was your day? Maybe you should ask how my day was, Mr. B. Oh, hello, Hazel. Problem? Problem, he says. 
Him giving me less than a week to get a big party underway when he's invited practically the whole town and we don't even have enough hors d'oeuvre trays. What's the matter with Hazel? She's a little concerned about our party. My goals are professional, personal, and ethical. I chose Antioch University, Los Angeles, because I think their master's degree in organizational management program is the MBA of the future. I can't quite explain it, but there's a difference in attitude here at Antioch. This isn't kid stuff. On location with George Siegel. I'm with Matthew Salver and Amy Tunick of Pamper and Dine, a kind of unusual service that these two have co-founded, I guess you could say. Matthew, tell us about Pamper and Dine. Uh, Pamper and Dine is a service that brings massage and fine dining to you in your home. One Steve Day, who works here in the afternoons mm. and who is really steamed because John, he gets to interview John Tesh from Entertainment Tonight, the guy, and uh, he wanted to know, like, are you currently involved, okay? You can lie to me. I don't care. Just for Does that mean do I have a job? No, that means uh, yeah. he's, he's single and uh, and he knows what you look like. And so he said, man, you've got to find out if she's dating anybody. Okay, Greg, please. Oh, gosh. Go ahead and lie to him. He's listening. Lie, lie to him. To him. Yeah, lie I'm to married him. and I have seven children. No. And they're all out That's in the hall. And they're a heck of a group. <laughs> yes. And uh, they're going to sing backup for the Osmonds. And uh, <laughs> be a very tiny backup when you think about it. No. Um, I'm not married. I have a boyfriend. I'm have just a boy about ready to come out with a new one. The uh, single's called My Love is a Fire. comes out in about three weeks. And then the album calls, called uh, Eyes Don't Lie is in mid-October. And how much, uh, how much of the material did you contribute to, uh, like, the writing of the material on that? I about eight, eight out of the ten songs. It's great talking to you. Yeah, good talking to you, too. Have a good day. All right, that's going to wrap up uh, this quick uh, report from the uh, Capitol and EMI Summer Spectacular. We're out here in Agoura Hills. I'm Alex Tostado, broadcasting on 103.1 KSU. Tracy Thorne, tell us about this song. Uh, we're going to play a song now called Driving, and it's from your uh, newest album, The Language of Life on Atlantic Records. Tell us me uh, about Driving and what was uh, behind the song. Well, the lyric of Driving is quite a simple idea, really. It's about being in a relationship where maybe you sometimes feel the need to get out and get away and get some freedom again and getting in the car and just driving away from it but then in the middle of the song you have the image of driving away into the middle of a desert in the middle of the night and this being a really lonely thing to do and that if you were called back home it would be quite good to turn around the car and just drive back again okay let's listen to it right now from the album the language of life tracy thorne ben watt everything but the girl and the song is called driving now ben watt the other half of everything but the girl, producer of uh, Idle Wild and many other uh, things that they have done. Ben, nice to have you with us. Thanks a lot. And uh, you produced many of the albums, and uh, tell me what you, of course, uh, try to, you know, show us and convey to us. Well, I, I was mainly responsible for Idle Wild, although I've had input on other stuff we've done. Um, I suppose Tracy would probably admit that I, I am the most prolific of, of, of the two of us. Um, I seem to write and compose things all the time um i can't spend a day um without sitting at a piano and tracy's very much sort of in the role of editor i suppose she tends to come in often and and you know say either that's a you know a lot of rubbish or <laughs> um i like that kind of stuff mm -hmm. but i mean that i'm obsessed with music of all forms i don't see any boundaries in music and um i i'm the kind of guy who sits in restaurants and if there's background music i i find myself listening to that and even if it's really bad, I find myself listening to work out why it's really bad. Um, so I suppose it's just in my blood, all that kind of stuff, like production and writing. Okay, the, uh, the name of the group, Everything But The Girl, how'd you come about that? Well, we were living in a, um, a town north of London together when we were in our late teens. And uh, we did our very first single together for an independent label in London called Cherry Red Records. And we really thought it was just going to be a one-off record, a single that would never be seen or heard of again. So we thought we'd choose a, a really cheap and disposable name to go with it. And we had the idea from um, a furniture store that was in the town where we lived, which was called Turner's Furniture Store. And their slogan was drawn from those American department stores where they say, we can sell you everything but the girl. And we thought this was so horrible and vulgar and cheap that it would be completely suitable for a group like <laughs> So everything but the girl. Uh, you're doing very well after your first album, Eden, in 1984, and you've done so many things. You went to Moscow, and you've uh, also done something with uh, having a baby, a movie, a rendition of Apron Strings was done very wonderfully by Tracy Thorne. I always was your girl. And tell me about that song. 
Um, I don't know. I suppose it's uh, one of my favorite songs. I think over the years we found ourselves as a as a pair of songwriters, as a couple in the music business, sometimes out on our own. And um, you know, it's it's really a song that, that kind of says. Um, you know, that's just, that's the kind of people we are. We're just, you know, um, a couple who, you know, we have our own way of going about things. Okay, let's play it right now, and uh, hold on, we'll have some parting words after we hear from everything but the girl. I always was your girl. Sometimes you, you'll hear people, uh, Ben, uh, whistling or humming your tunes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I did. I was doing that, but uh, not very well. But it seems like they're very, uh, they're very easy to uh, to hum and to sing along with too. Perhaps not as many as I'd like. <laughs> okay, you are going to. Uh, you're up in San Francisco now for a, a special uh, Gavin meeting. Uh, what else are you going to be doing? You'll be uh, touring anywhere very soon? Sure. Well, we go back to London on um, Sunday, and we start rehearsals for our UK tour, which will start in March. Um, and we finish with us three nights at the Albert Hall in London. Um, and then April, we're going to spend down in Japan and Australia doing some promotion, and hopefully back for some concerts in America, either May or June. Ben, thank you very much. We do appreciate it, and uh, say thank you to Tracy Thorne, everything but the girl, okay? It's been a pleasure. Thanks. We're going to check in again with John Lindstrom, who's live on location at the Computer Palace. It's a grand opening. John? Hello, Sheila. What's happening over well, there? Well, we got a lot going on here. I'm going to talk to Deacon Jones here in just a second, who will be drawing for an Epson computer a little bit later on. What about the Raiders? All the talk that they're going to perhaps move to Oakland, Sacramento. Are they going to stay here in Los Angeles? Well, I certainly hope so. I think they're, they're, this is a great market. You know, you, you just don't, you just don't, the people, most people don't understand how, how the NFL measures markets. Los Angeles is the, is the second largest uh, television market in the, in the country. So you just don't pull up and leave here without a good reason to move to Sacramento or some little small town. Uh, so I think the, the, the uh, Raiders will be here, and I think Los Angeles will support the Raiders, and I think they'll get their team together this year and become a very, very su successful team like they know how to do. Uncle Albert, Albert and Admiral Halsey. And yeah. here we go with Mano Hennessy live. Mano, we're going to give you two or three minutes here to Play. wrap her up. I understand it's a lot of fun out there. It is, John. Isn't it Uncle Albert, Admiral Hazley? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Albert, Admiral Halsey. Mano, I can tell you've been there since 7.30 this morning. And, uh, boy, you got, you've got to be tired, well, you? Aren't know, you? I'm a big wings freak. You um, bet. Well, uh, John, I, know I am tired. It's not that I've been here that long. It's just that I'm, I'm not used to getting up prior to noon. But um, <laughs> we're down here at the end of Ocean Park Boulevard. Thanks right now we have Todd Bridges with us. Willis, of course, on different strokes, and um, he uh, was um, uh, the what honor honorary running chairman. Yes, honorary run K for the 10K. For the 10K, and and you ran in it. How far did you get, Todd? Oh, about a half a mile. <laughs> half a mile, and how how long is a 10K? Um, 10K is six point like one mile, I think it is, but it's it's that's very far for me. Well, are you uh, used to running, or um, did you take this up recently? Not as Recently, I started taking a running. This is the story of a young woman named Red. She had to deliver a basket to her granny, who lived clear on the other side of the Oaks of Sherman. She was tired of her old clunker, which barely made it over the hill. So she decided to buy a new car. She strolled into Joe Any Dealer, where all at once, a wolf of a salesman swooped down on her. What a big wallet you have, said the wolf. And what a big mouth you have, said Red. Hey, what happened to you? Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I went out last night for a few with my friends. 
Next thing I knew, it's 3 a.m. and I'm driving home drunk out of my head. Jeff, you drove drunk yeah. in Los Angeles? What? It's got to be crazy. I, well, I don't know what to do. Well, the first thing is to try to stay out of bars and then get into the Optimum Care Recovery Program. Optimum Care? What is that? What, where is it? It's in Culver City at the Washington Medical Center. Well, look, I can handle this, okay? I don't need any help with no, people. No, Jeff, no. Miami Spice Restaurant is just like taking a vacation to Miami. Hey, excuse me, but... Oh, the atmosphere, pale pastels, a 60s setting, and all that great Cuban cuisine. Zesty sauces with fresh spices, black beans, marinated chicken. Why, I get hungry just thinking about it. Miss, miss. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go down to Miami Spice right now. It's Only creative people who enjoy sales need apply. Call Mr. Gold at K-Surf, 458-1031. Some of the best travel bargains around are available right here in Santa Monica. The Santa Monica Big Blue Bus Excursion. Hunt's Tomato Sauce, America's favorite, features sweet vine-ripened tomatoes packed in a convenient 8-ounce can, only 19 cents. Arm & Hammer Laundry Detergent, the 65-ounce box is only $1.39. Arm & Hammer, the name that means quality at a value price. Price is in effect through March 16th. And you're listening to the biggest hits, top stories, and memories of 1967 here on KSurf 103.1. I'm John Lindstrom, and thanks for joining me on this absolutely out-of-this-world day. In professional football that year, it was Vince Lombardi's Green Bay Packers who won another Super Bowl, the second in a row. This time, they beat the Oakland Raiders. During that football season, the late Jackie Wilson hit with one of his all-time greats. Your love has lifted me higher and higher. 244 K-Surf FM 103. The old-time mellow hits. Did you pay too much income tax in 1985? Would you like to pay less taxes in 86 and save more money for yourself? M.L. Williams & Associates have been helping individuals and companies achieve and maintain financial security since 1967. Get help now with your financial planning. Receive a no-cost-to-you financial analysis from M.L. Williams & Associates at 469-4495. Call today, M.L. Williams & Associates, 469-4495. L.A. weather, let's check it now. This afternoon, variable cloudiness, but it'll be mostly sunny, and the high will be around 77. For tonight, partly cloudy. The low will be around 58. Then for tomorrow, partly cloudy during the morning hours, and it'll become mostly clear in the afternoon. High tomorrow, 74. Currently at the L.A. Civic Center, 72, and right here at our studios by the sea, it is 78. The verdict is in on Asakuma's fine Japanese Nouvelle cuisine. Asakuma at Wilshire and Barrington in West L.A. 103.1 K-Sir playing the best variety of your favorites with the latest from Irish singer Sinead O'Connor. That's nothing compares to you from her LP, I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got. We also heard from uh, Phil Collins and Stevie Wonder in that last set. Well, I guess it is true, the luck of the Irish with it being St. Patrick's Day this weekend. We had a big winner, and he's an Irishman for, uh, from Dublin originally. He lives now in Glendale. Uh, that's right, we're congratulating Jerry Burgess of Glendale. He just won a weekend at the Embassy Suites on Airport Boulevard, where complimentary breakfast is made to order every morning. Plus, uh, he will be chauffeured by London Taxi Limited, the authentic British limousine service. Listen for your chance to win on 103.1 Case. Sir. For the past four years, Copley Los Angeles newspapers have been listening, listening to you. Through phone surveys, focus groups, interviews, and exit polls, we've been asking you, the people of the West Side, what you want in your newspaper. What you said is you want more news about you and your town. 103.1, KSERF. Hi, who's this? This is Angela. Angela, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Marina Del Rey. What are you doing? I'm watching TV. What song can I play for you, Angela? Um, I want to hear Leather and Lace by Don Henley and Stevie Nicks. Angela, what station are you going to tell your friends about? 103.1 KSurf. 103.1 KSurf. Hi, who's this? Hi, this is James. Where are you calling from, James? I'm calling from Inglewood. Uh, I want to dedicate a song to my father. I see, and what song is that? Uh, Living Years by Mike and the Mechanics. Tell me about it. Well, uh, I'm leaving for Berkeley and, uh, um late August and uh, you know I haven't been spending a lot of time with my family and stuff like that and you know it's a song you know part of the song um, tells about things that you have to say to your father or whatever before you leave before he dies but you know um, 
I just wanted to tell him that I do love him. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I'll always be there. James, that's a wonderful thought. Which station plays the best variety of your favorites from the 60s into the 90s? 103.1, Case Center. 103.1 K Surf. We're continuing through 60 minutes of back to back favorites, and we have a lady with us who'd like to make a request. Hi, who's this? This is Bernadette. Bernadette, where are you calling from? I'm calling from downtown LA. And what are you up to? Well, about 10 of us, 10 of my, my good friends here, we're all hanging out and reading some applications for this honor society we're part of, and we're just all having a good time and, you know, just hanging out. We don't see each other that often. What song can I play for you? Oh, I'd, I'd love to hear your song by Elton John. And what's special about that? Well, it reminds me of these, these people here. There's my friend Ty and Karen and Kelly and Tina and Dave and Gage and Sammy, and they're all hanging out here with me, and they're really, really good friends, and it just reminds me of them. Terrific. Which station plays the best variety of your favorites from the 60s into the 90s? 103.1 Kaser. It's a little bit funny. 103.1 K-Surf. Coming up, we got music for you from Michael McDonald. Uh, his latest, Take It to Heart. We'll also hear from Rod Stewart and Ron Isley and uh, Linda Ronstadt's latest. Want to say hi to Peggy in Culver City. Thanks for listening. Nine minutes till 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning. K-Surf 103.1. Gary Mercer. K-Surf 103.1. Jerry Michael Hawkins, 10 away from 10 o'clock. And John Lindstrom, thanks so much for joining us. In uh, Major League Baseball today, the uh, Cubs will go against the Dodgers. Game time 105 at Dodger Stadium. And the Angels are in Detroit to take on the Tigers. And that game gets underway in just about 30 minutes from now. With me right now. Steve Day, and yes. Steve has a very special guest on the line. Got my mom on the line, who is uh, living out in Washington, D.C. Hi, Mom. Hi. What's the weather out there? Is it, uh, is it cold yet? It's wet and rainy. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks, Mom. I know that you have uh, your dog there in, the, in your arms. <laughs> and thank you for being a part of this uh, Beatles special. Keep her from gnawing at the legs of my coffee table. Well, thank you, Mildred. You're welcome, Harold Stephen Day, Jr. The new KSRF at 103.1. That is Stevie Wonder and the dubious brothers just before that. It's six minutes after 6, 6.06, Friday morning. We have a breakfast quiz coming up. We have sunshine in the forecast. And we also have George Bush in the news. What a surprise. He came out and said he will not support a ban on assault rifles. Part of being a kinder, gentler nation. Yes, he will not support the ban. Read my clips. So far, there's been no announcement as to the winners on the lottery, but we are going to be announcing winners on the breakfast quiz. First clue, looking for an actress, comes up here in just a few minutes at the new 103.1. Stevie Nicks is famous for singing lead on many of Fleetwood Mac's biggest hits, including their biggest, Dreams. Stevie's latest solo hit is called Rooms on Fire. Number 13. Twenty-five West Side continues with John Lindstrom on KSRF. Michael Bolton's up one position with his latest, the title song to his album Soul Provider. Number three. Melinda Carlisle's latest hit features former Beatle George Harrison on guitar. Here's Leave a Light On. It's up five positions. Number twelve. Twenty-five West Side with John Lindstrom. A countdown of this week's hottest songs continues. One hundred three point one K Surf up one position is the third hit in the last nine months in the comeback of nineteen seventies teen idol Donny Osmond. I'll be good to you. Number eight. It's Here's the recent top five hit by saxophonist Sadao Watanabe with lead vocal by Patty Austin. A hit co-written by super songwriter Diane Warren. Any Other Fool on 103.1 KSURF. Number 21. 25 AC with John Lindstrom. Friday nights from 6 to 8 continues. In the same position as last week is the hit that was recorded to show support for the Allied troops in the Persian Gulf. Nearly 100 actors, musicians, and sports figures got together to record this song. Voices That Care. By Voices That Care. On 103.1. KSERF. Number 8. The 
last three weeks, this was the number one adult contemporary song in America. It's by the female trio from Los Angeles, Wilson Phillips. They told K-Surf that women have responded tremendously to their music. Women just seem to get, send fan letters saying that their lives, you know, they have much more hope and motivation to go on because of our music, which is, you know, obviously very gratifying. This song became their fourth number one hit here on the Adult Contemporary Chart in less than a year. You're in Love by Wilson Phillips on 103.1 KSURF. Number two. Do you know where I buy clothes for my husband? I go to Peter Rainey in Century City. Peter Rainey is a custom tailor that we discovered a few years ago through some friends of ours. Ever since then, we've been able to purchase the finest quality custom-made shirts and suits at off-the-rack department store prices. For example, custom-made 100% cotton shirts where you select the fabric, the collar, and the cuff, where 10 measurements are made to ensure the fit and the look you want for just $40. $42.50. They're better than shirts costing $90 in the more expensive department store. What's for dinner? I'm starving. Anything you want. Really? Let me guess. The freezer broke down and everything thawed. No, we're going out tonight. Oh, I can't take any more fast food. Not fast food. A real dinner out at Earth, Wind & Flower. Honey, is this one of those places with eight forks and a French wine list? No, this is more casual. You can come as you are to Earth, Wind & Flower, so relax. Wait a minute. This isn't one of those places where you carry a tray, is it? I always feel like I'm back in fifth grade. No. Earth, Wind & Flower believes in friendly service and lots of it. And the food is fantastic. Everything from chicken piccata to their famous gourmet Boston pizza. This is beginning to sound expensive. We haven't even paid for that freezer yet. Very funny. It's in the race for taste. Mikey's cookie jar runs away with a goal. Nothing but the best ingredients are used. Come in and try all the 51 varieties of muffins like apple spice and sweet potato or their fresh hot cookies with a cup of cappuccino or espresso. Mikey's also Caters has office delivery, gift baskets, and more. Call 478-8988, 478-8988. Mikey's Cookies, just try them, you'll like. Oops, love them. All right, now, let's see. The flowers all look great. The bridesmaids' dresses are fit and looking perfect. Name tags are in place. And the wedding cake. Where's the wedding cake? Yeah, it's over here, lady. Where do you want it? Happy Bar Mitzvah, Irv? Oh, my gosh. My daughter's wedding cake is a bar mitzvah cake? The wedding's in five hours. What am I going to do? You should have called International Gourmet Bakery. You don't want to dress like a million without spending it. A visit to the Place and Company is a must. The Place and Company specializes in beautiful, gently worn clothing collected from the rich and famous, from Palm Springs to Paris, and sold at extremely low prices. The Place and Company is the most reputable resale store in Los Angeles. Seen on AM Los Angeles, Our Magazine, I on LA, and Two on the Town. The Place and Company offers 3,000 square feet of affordable designer clothing, from ball gowns to sportswear, at up to 70% off retail. Imagine owning a beautiful gown worn by Joan Collins, Linda Evans, or Diane Cannon. Gowns that may have been worn once can now be yours forever. Names like Chanel, Armani, Yves Saint Laurent, and Adolfo. The list goes on and on. Now I know I don't have to wander far from my own backyard just to Lynch Motors on Euclid and Santa Monica in Santa Monica for the best savings and service on a new car. So remember, you don't have to be a wizard to cinch the deal at Lynch. Mervet Insurance. Believe me, they take the cost and hassle out of car insurance. Um, for example, did you know that Mervat lets you work out a monthly payment plan? Yeah, that means you might get car insurance for as little as $59 per month, depending on your age and zip code. Hey, Slim, guess you don't know about campus. What do you mean? Well, with that walk of yours, I figured you need some new heels. And she says, No thanks. I've had my fill of heels. You men are all alike. Seeing she was no rocket scientist, I figured I'd better spell it out for her. I'm talking about campus heels. Those big men on campus? This is the sound of losing money. This is the sound of losing money. Uh, could you hold a minute? Uh, let me let me find the pencil. Oh, uh, Susie, uh -huh. let's just get L.A. Tell on the phone. Here's the number, 1-800-44-LA-TELL. That was the sound of a smart move. If you're tired of your business losing money from an outmoded phone system, make the smart business move to L.A. Tell. Within 48 hours, L.A. Tell can have a new system installed, which can really make a difference to your business. 
For as little as $69 per month with two months down, you can lease the communication system of the future today. Hurry in by January 2nd, 1988 to take advantage of this special offer at Microwage Computers. 901 Wilshire Boulevard in Santa Monica. Phone 458-1652. 458-1652. Microwage Computers. At 103.1, we are KSR for 103. KSRF, Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, your West Side Station. It's a little bit after 5 o'clock. I'm John Lindstrom giving way to a beautiful day, and all of us here at KSurf say hello. K Surf, Peter Cetera, and Amy Grant. A number one song from December of 1986. That's The Next Time I Fall. 508 John Lindstrom with you. I want to remind you that on Tuesdays, Lunchtime with Doran is brought to you by the Galaxy Cafe. Galaxy Cafe uses the freshest ingredients found on Earth for healthy food that's out of this world. Try Galaxy Cafe in Santa Monica at 2920 Lincoln Boulevard. Doran Moss, weekdays, 10 to 3, right here on KSURF 103.1. The Flower Box Floral Shop. 103.1, KSURF 509. Let's check on that afternoon commute. Once again, here's Barbara Brooks. Well, John, the North Hollywood Freeway still a mess. One oh three point one K Surf K S R F Santa Monica Los Angeles. All right. Well, we're not far away now. I've got uh, Steve Armstrong with me right now, and Steve, you ready to count down with me here in just about uh, twenty seconds or so? <laughs> I'm I'm going to leave the uh, the precise secondary countdown to you, John. Okay. I'm probably. Well. I, I have to say, too excited to oh, practically yes. uh, put it into words. A brand new decade. I've got the watch set. About to pass by us. Ah oh, yes, I've got the watch set right to the precise second. Can you believe that? All right. Here we go, Mr. Armstrong. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Too fast. Five, four, three, two. One. Oh, there it is. Ah, it's 1990. Ooh, a brand new decade. How about that, Mr. Armstrong? I am supercharged. Ah. When you think of the uh, the way the decade that just ended gave us such a fabulous close with with the hope of peace, as we saw in Eastern Europe, it's got to be great. Oh boy, I tell you, the 1980s was a memorable decade. Now the 90s are here. Let's hope that the 1990s is a memorable one as well, right? And especially for you, John, and of course all our listeners. Oh, yes. And Steve, I hope you have a great decade coming up as well. And are you ready for the ultimate song that starts off every new year? You know what that is, don't you, Mr. Armstrong? Absolutely. What is that? The corks are popping. Ah, yes. Let's hit it. All right. Pizza, 2805 Washington Boulevard, Marina del A. It's at K-Surf's Campaign 88 for L.A.'s Finest Pizza. And we're going to meet a few of the judges that are here uh, helping us decide L.A.'s Finest Pizza. First, I have Stanley Ralph Ross, who's a co-star of Falcon Crest in Superior Court. Stanley, uh, you've done a lot of preparing for this contest. Yes, I have. I've eaten a great deal of pizza over my lifetime, and a lot of it in New York. And this is an interesting restaurant. They have a copy of the New York City subway map, and I can find my house that I grew up in right there at the bottom of the subway map in Coney Island, where pizza may have been invented. So we're real interested in tasting Johnny's New York pizza. Okay, thanks, Stanley. Also with me is John Aston. John, uh, you ready for some uh, major pizza tasting today? Uh, yeah, we've uh, we've been uh, tasting... Uh, we, we actually, this is our second stop of the day. It's still uh, before noon, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and so we'll be hitting a number of restaurants here. But I, I, I just wanted to know, I've, I've had pizza in New York myself, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm really going to judge this uh, contest, uh, for my own part anyway, completely unprejudiced. I mean, I'm we're... Adam Treff. Good morning. It's a Monday. On the way, we have music for you from Genesis. Also, something new from Crosby, Stills, and Nash is on the way. And a breakfast quiz, so you want to keep it right here. we got a good prize to give away this morning. Let's check in once again with Metro Traffic Control. Let's see if we can talk to Paul Johnson. Yeah, you're there. Hiya, hiya. Sure, I'm here. You feel like taking a breakfast quiz? All right, I'm ready. Okay. I'm alert, bright-eyed, and bushy-tailed. Uh, not so bushy this morning. <laughs> <laughs> a little early in the morning. We're looking for an ingredient that might be added to any wine 
Now, we've had a lot of good answers, cherries, sugar, yeast, um, but the answer we're looking for is not vegetable or mineral. It's round. It has no cholesterol. And uh, had to cross the road to get to the other side of the winery. Oh. <laughs> did you know that? I didn't know that. Trick question. No, I didn't know that. That's absolutely right. We'll go to the phones and see if our person in the isolation booth has not heard this and now knows the answer. <laughs> yeah. We'll find out. I just wonder how they get that thing in the bottle. 103.1, K-Surf. Good morning. Do you have an answer for me? I sure do. Um, eggs. What, what part of the eggs? Um, white. There you go. That's absolutely right. Great. Who's this? This is Robin Quinn. Robin, where are you calling from this morning? I'm calling from work. Uh, you're at work already? Yeah, I am. Yeah, all right. Where do you work? I work at Pod Suzaki at the Landscape Architecture Company. Congratulations. You're absolutely right. The no cholesterol egg whites sometimes are added to some wines. And you have won yourself a one-month membership to the Fine Wine Sampler. That's a new mail-order wine club. Do you like to sample wine now and then? Oh, I sure do. It's fun. All right. Well, terrific. What station plays more music and less talk? 103.1 KSER. The request lines are open at 393-1031. like to say hello to Fernando in Culver City. And by request now, Carol King going out to Tori in Mar Vista. 103.1 KSER. So far. I'm Don May. Ten minutes before six o'clock, and still to come, we have more quality adult contemporary music for you, including something from Hall & Oates, brand new. And we have your chance to win the latest cassettes from Linda Ronstadt and the Neville Brothers, a pair of tickets to see them live at the Universal Amphitheater, and you'll qualify to win their complete compact disc catalogs. This is one nice giveaway that we've been doing for quite a while now, and uh, we got another chance for you to win. 103.1 K-Surf wrapping up 30 minutes of Non-Stop Light Favorites with Climby Fisher and the Cold Light of Day. From their album Coming In for the Kill, also in there, George Benson, Champagne, Walter Egan, and Stevie Nicks. New music from Chicago, What Kind of Man Would I Be, and Tears for Fears, Woman in Chains. Also, we heard from Richard Elliott, Moonlight in Your Eyes. 526, here's your LA weather. Clear tonight, low 45, Saturday and Sunday fair, with a high both days of 70. It's clear now in 59 in Venice, and 59 in Brentwood, and 58 in Santa Monica at 103.1. Okay, sir, let's go to our traffic center and Paul Johnson at 526 and find out how things are going up ahead of you there. This traffic watch brought to you by Gourmet Pride. 103.1, K-Surf in the middle of 30 minutes of non-stop light favorite for you. 103.1, K-Surf. 103.1, K-Surf. And wrap up 25 minutes of non-stop light favorites. Carly Simon, give me all night. Also heard some new music from Stephen Bishop, Mr. Heartbreak from Bowling in Paris, Stevie Wonder, The Beatles, Miami Sound Machine, Steely Dan also in there. 103.1 K-Surf, and uh, we are happy here. It's getting closer to, to Valentine's Day and that soft, wonderful feeling. Yeah. Time is 7 o'clock at 103.1. We're K-Surf 103, KSRF, Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, your West Side Station. Let's give a little lift to that. I'm Steve Day. <laughs> and I'm Rachel Donahue, inviting you to dive on into the surf. And L.A.'s Mary Clanton, Eric Phillips of Culver City are the first winners of a weekend getaway to a princess resort in Palm Springs or San Diego. Mm -hmm. And we'll be having a drawing for five more weekend getaways all this week. Any comments or suggestions on the presentation you just heard, please call 818-780-2270. Or you can email jalindstrom25 at gmail.com.